Because I just, I feel so, like, I feel so unbelievably, like, grown up now. Good morning, campers. Uh, so, a couple things. Um, what we've been kind of doing lately, since we don't really have like a filming like schedule like we used to, we kind of just pick up the camera and randomly film things, and we realize we don't have any like kind of leads into them. So, I wanted to start by showing you this like cute clip of of Harrison talking to us about wanting a sibling. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and roll that for you right now. Okay, tell me what you're saying again. I'm saying can I as this guy? Okay, so campers, we have this book when mommy's having a baby. Harrison has been obsessed with it lately. We read it every night, right? And Harrison just said he wanted another sibling. Do you know what that means for real? So who do we have right now? The Archer. So we have you. Yeah. And we have Archer. Archer. And yeah. you want another? Yeah. I can't get your finger out of your nose. No. Why do you want another sibling? Do you know what that means? Yeah, I want this one. Right. You want this little guy here in mom mom's stomach. Oh yeah. You want mom to have a baby. Yeah. He keeps pointing at the mommy's <laughs> belly. Yeah. Whew. Are you sure? Yeah. You don't just want a hot dog instead? Are you, wait a minute. Remember, we asked you this before and you said you wanted hot dogs. Oh. It doesn't matter what it was, but I said, Harrison, do you want a brother? Do you want a sister? And you said, no. Hot dogs. <laughs> so do you want a brother or a sister? Or hot dogs. <laughs> okay. Are we in the clear then? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Did you just spit? I'm so scared right now. No. You, you're scared? <laughs> scared? I'm scared. I'm a little scared. Here you go. Because do you know what having another sibling means? <gasps> Don't wipe banana on the camera. <laughs> Do you want another baby? For a while I thought I did. And now I'm not so sure. So... <laughs> there's There's been days where I've been this close to selling our remaining sample. Pack. We have one? We have one. And you and I had previously decided uh -huh. that we were going to forego. Yes. But did. now this guy has been talking about Another baby around the house. I know it's not up to him, folks. I, it, but still, it's been making me think. What is wrong with me? Well, there's some old, there's some yes. What's wrong with me? I don't know. Lots. Lots? <laughs> <laughs> you know I love you, right? Bless us. It's a banana. It's a banana string. You eat it. I'll throw it away. Do you... Oh, boy. Harrison, you know Mommy loves you, right? Do you? Yeah. You know I love you? You want to read the book? Okay. I love you. I get it. Oh. Look at how all these baby books. Wait, wait, you want more baby books now? Yeah. What to expect at a play date? What to expect... These are... This is actually... Has anybody heard of this? They're called What to Expect Kids. And they have What to Expect... Um, this isn't an ad, folks. Um, can you see that? Yeah. What to expect at a play date. What to expect at bedtime. What to expect when you go to the doctor. And what to expect when the new baby comes home. Oh, yeah. Another baby comes out of you. Yeah, I remember how we were, when we brought Mommy, Archer home. Can we build, can we, can we read the book? Absolutely. Let's go read the book. Talked a little bit about this. Oh, by the way, please. Um, sorry that I look like I've been run over by a bus. Um, 
I don't know if I have like some residual cold left over, but I'm not feeling the greatest and I, I guess I just need some more rest. But I put on some eyeliner yesterday and I don't know what it is. The next day, sometimes I think it looks really good and sometimes I'm like, whoa, Tiff. Well, today is one of those whoa, Tiff days. But um, we, uh, we had a pretty fun day today. I did manage to get a couple of, of clips and I'm not sure what we'll be able to to throw in but the kids were playing on the power wheels and Harrison actually took Archer for a ride and Archer really just wants to stand up so unfortunately that ride was like a second long but I wanted to <laughs> just want to make sure that you guys see it I mean who knows maybe in a little while Archer will you know sit down and unfortunately those things don't come with seat belts which I mean, I know they don't go very fast, but, and I know they're not intended for younger kids anyway, but I think that's the only thing I would change is I would get like some sort of strap, like just in case, you know, because, you know, some younger kids might sit through it and it might be okay with them or for them. But, you know, obviously there's like a safety issue there. So little kids, I think they're not intended for kids under three anyway. I graduated my I'm just gonna push it up here when I graduated from my fellowship the um, director who has been the director for over 30 years gave all of us fellows a spider plant and what he did and, and I think it's the coolest thing that anybody's like like done like some thought like has gone into this and apparently this is something that he does every year uh, whenever he has new fellows he starts off new um, like spawns which is what I have right here um kind of of growing and and maybe he's only done it for a few years that he's passed them out I don't remember like what the you know what that was but for the past couple of years I know for sure he's been doing it so when we graduated he gave us these spider plants and I thought it was really cool because I don't know like nothing says you've made it like taking care of a plant in your office I don't know why I feel so grown up having a plant so when I first got it, and that was at the in the middle of August, this is what my spawn already looks like. Now I'll show you a clip right now of me um, like replanting and like potting it to like get it, um, you know, to get it in here for it to start growing again. And I'm just really happy to do this. So I took some dirt and I packaged it up, and I want to be able to like to do that and maybe I can do that for some of my you know patients like maybe you know since they're staying where they stay you know like maybe I can start breeding all of these different is breeding the right word I wonder hmm probably growing but not breeding I would think but anyway but maybe this is like something that they can do or maybe it can be you know in like the the main room for people to you know like come and sit and like take care of the plant or whatever but anyway I just I think it's really cool and this is really the first plant that I've hadn't been able to you know keep alive you know so I'm I'm pretty excited about that <laughs> I don't know why is it am I wrong like is this is it weird for me to say stuff like this because I just I feel so like I feel so unbelievably like grown up now to have plants and stuff <laughs> Ha 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 
<laughs> I got my glasses, you silly. He did. Silly. Your turn? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. All right, Archer. It's Harrison's turn, okay? So we're wrapping up. I'm doing some E triple P studying. <laughs> which probably should be done in the bedroom, but that's okay for right now. Oh. Somebody else wants a turn again. Oh, me. Oh, no. Okay. Archer's turn. Ready? <laughs> Ready? Ready? <laughs> oh, oh you, you almost got him. You almost got him. What's up, bud? I want you to laugh for me. I want you to laugh at you? Yeah. Okay. Alright, it's Harrison's turn, bud. You ready? You want me to laugh at you? Yeah. Come here. Okay. <laughs> Jeez, bud. <laughs> Is he freaking laughing? My, my triceps are yelling What's at the matter, me? bud? Oh. Hey, yeah. thank you. So somebody was asking what one of my E triple P questions look like. So I want to show you what one of them looks like. So I will read it out loud and you guys put the guesses down below. Dr. Lisa Lopez has been treating Glenn G for depression for three weeks. During their most recent session, Glenn discovered that he has also been seeing another therapist for several months. As an ethical psychologist, Dr. Lopez should A. Tell Glenn she cannot continue seeing him in therapy since he is receiving services from another professional. B. Tell Glenn that he will need to decide which therapist he wishes to continue seeing within the next few weeks. C. Discuss this issue with Glenn and consult with the other therapist after getting Glenn's approval to do so. Or D. Continue therapy with Glenn since he has not expressed a desire to stop. A few key words in there are an ethical psychologist. Yeah. What's the answer? Yes. Harrison. Oh, you want me to tell you the answer? I'd be giving it away. Well, tell me after you turn off the camera. I will. I gotta let everybody guess which one it is and put it down below. Uh, so it's this week is spirit week for Harrison at school, and this is like his first, obviously this is his first time going to school. So tomorrow is, um, what is it called? Hawaiian day? Yes. And uh, today was um, pajama day, then he's got Hawaiian day, then he has wacky Wednesday, and then Thursday is blue. It's school colors day. School colors day, yeah. So Thursday is school colors day. And Carrie put one of her sun hats on Harrison to see if he could wear it. You want to try it on? Come here. Harrison, you want to show the campers what this hat looks like? Look at this thing, y'all. And I'm like, you can't make him wear that hat. It looks like he's going to like some sort of horse race. Yeah, no, it doesn't. Yes, it doesn't. Yeah. That looks way it's too fancy. In Hawaii. That looks yeah. fancy for him because it, it was so it's big. Small for my head because I made it small for him. Hey, they're here. I don't have any pants on, so be careful. But this is a big moment for me, you guys. I have not been able to fit into a pair of Levi jeans, and I don't even know. I mean, could, is it safe to say twenty years? Probably. I, I don't know. Since I was. Just out of I've only known you for 10, so. Yeah, I mean, so. I haven't had any. It, and I ordered my first pair. And I'm going to try them on right now. I'm going to put them on. And I don't know if they're going to fit. This is extremely vulnerable for me right now because they might not fit. So sit tight. You don't have to keep filming. It's all right. Go ahead. You're just gonna, oh, you're the whole process. <laughs> so no, one, gonna, no one can see. <laughs> Okay. I'm nervous because they're jeans. They are. I I don't think it's gonna happen. You don't think so? What's going on, boys? No, just because they're so like. I see him buttoning. We did. 
Are they gonna zip? They will zip, but my arms are so short. Hang on. I probably should have zipped first. Paraffin. Wow, look at you. I have a pair of Levi's on. You have a pair of Levi's on. I'm wearing Levi's. I have Levi's on. Let's sit down and see how they are. Okay, they're a little tight. Oof, yeah, they're a little tight. I am not 100% ready for these jeans. But if I were to go to a standing event where I had to walk to get there and then stand the whole time, I would be totally ready, totally. <sighs> hey, well, update, I'm still sitting and I still have the jeans on. Definitely can't wear these though. No. Um, yeah, I mean, I definitely have a muffin top and that's okay. That is okay, it's just not something that I'm super comfortable with. But the fact is, I have a pair of Levi's jeans on and they are size 54. I cannot believe that. I've That's literally awesome. gone down two pant sizes. At which least. at least you're right, because I haven't worn jeans until this whole thing. You were wearing stretchy pants. I was wearing stretchy pants. So and and you know, technicality as it is, I'm calling this a win. I can't believe I have these jeans on. And I I gotta tell you, I just I just keep feeling good. You know, I feel good today. I got 25 minutes of exercise in, and I am already, I mean, it's like 5.30, and that's just from walking. So me keeping up uh, fast, and, and again, my office and the rooms that I got to go to, it's not that far away. Like, the rooms are not minutes away. It's completely different from my last job. So this is me, like, just taking the time to walk around in my office and, like, walk around, like, take an extra lap or go somewhere where I don't need to go and hope that no one talks to me for a second so I can get like a minute of, of exercise in. So, so I am, I'm pretty excited about it. And uh, I'm interested, like I know that we don't put out vlogs like all the time anymore, they're just once a week. So I would really like to hear about your successes, like everything that you're still doing. Cause I know there are a lot of you who are also going through like a big, lifestyle change so please let me know down below because again we make time to read the comments and now we definitely have time to read them because we have like one vlog a week right now so you don't have to wear it right now. i can see your gray underwear you can yeah oh boy uh-oh this could be a problem never mind i don't think i can wear these is it, are they too big or too, do they feel too tight? Levi's jeans fit differently. Oh. So they don't have that big like. Oh, those are not high rise? These are not high rise jeans, no. Oh. That's why they're tougher to get on because all like it's going over my belly too. Hmm. This was eventually, or this was actually intended to be a little music montage showing you guys how good I looked in my jeans. But now this might be something to reconsider. I mean, okay, you can see them because I pulled my shirt up. Yeah. But like, normally I'm gonna have my shirt, you know, like, does it look bad in the back? No, I can't tell now. Like, you can't tell? No. Okay. But like, bend over to pick something up. And I saw like it was half an inch. Should I start wearing like a thong? I oh mean, my god. I I mean, should Get out of here underwear? with that. What should I wear? What other kind of underwear are there? The ones that you're wearing right now. These are granny briefs, and I am fine with that. That's, That's fine. my station in life is to wear these. You might want to take this before your son locks you out of your phone. He has my phone? Yes. Oh boy. Whoa. 
I don't know. I felt like that sort of counted a little bit. A little. See, he's he's got baby instincts, you know? Like he knows going down to his butt is going to get him over there. Bites the dust. Boom. And another one's gone. And another one's gone. <laughs> I love when he tries to like reach something really high and he just stands there and goes, Ugh. It's really cute. I remember, I don't know why I'm getting like deja vu right now, but I remember you took a video of Harrison and he was standing watching. Sesame Street, oh, and yeah. he just stood there. He did. And he didn't lose balance, he just stood there. He so did. I just got some straight up deja vu. Deja vu. Are you gonna be walking soon? Come on. Turn him around, maybe he'll do it. Hmm. Hmm. By the way, in case anyone's wondering, that thing that he has in his mouth. It's meant for teething, and it has a hole on the other end, so no worries on it being a choking head. Is he sitting on you? Oh, boy. He's a leaner. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> It's so funny. So, probably going to end it here, but I just wanted to say, um, you know, Harrison, if you saw last week's video, we had a kind of a cold, like, ravaged through our family. It turns out that some of the kids at school might have had RSV. Um, not sure if that was the same, because when we took Archer to the doctor, Doc didn't say that for him. No, he didn't. But him very well could have been. Could have been, you know, we, so we don't know. But um, we went to the park today after dinner and we could only stay about 15 minutes because um, Harrison was running around, kind of got worked up. And um, I don't know what it is with kids and coughing, but they end up regurgitating. Uh, just a little bit. Just a little, but it was enough that, you know, it was time to come home and, you know, make sure he, we got him cleaned up and stuff like that. I know you didn't, but we had to be sensible parents and bring oh, you home. I just peeled in, I just peeled in the wood chips. In the wood chips? <laughs> now, can you tell me one more time, what did you do? In the, peel, in the wood chips. In the wood chips? Yeah. And you really liked being at the park, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Well, do you think we could go back, like, once you get better? Yeah. Yeah? Look at that, there's a poop guy. Yeah? It's a what guy? Did you have fun at the park today for that 15 minutes, baby? Mm, yeah. Yeah? Did mm. you? Mm. Did you, Mr. B. Archer? Mm. Did you? No, he has. He just had his fingers in his mouth. He doesn't have anything to chew on. That's what y'all 
always think and then you find something in their mouth. Really? Like what? We don't... You, I would love to find anything tinier than... What? What? What are you doing? Show them. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> he was just like hitting his head on my leg and like spinning. What are you doing, fool? So anyway, um, neither kids nor us, we have any fevers, nothing like that. So, you know, I mean, unfortunately, kids are going to get sick. Kids are going to get runny noses. And that's what's going to happen. It makes their immune system stronger. Okay, false alarm, but better safe than sorry. Because you never know. Um, I will say it was an episode of Charlie Bit My Finger. So that was nice. Yeah. 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 It was. It was a Charlie bit my finger. Mommy's still studying, baby. Yeah. It's bedtime. So it looks like we're going to be getting ready for bed here, but thank you for spending another week with us. We really appreciate having y'all here. And thank you for sharing us with your friends. And we'll catch you. Yay! <laughs> Foot buddy! <laughs> <laughs>